Hello, and welcome to the Virtualization Technologies course for beginners. During this course, we'll focus on key concepts you have to know if you want to start using hardware virtualization. There are different kinds of virtualization strategies, many vendors, and various kinds of virtualization software, so it's important to know how they work in order to make the right choice. Let's start with a simple example to show you why virtualization is so commonly used today. Simplifying the concept of computers and servers away, you can think of them as empty containers to fill with your applications. Over time, you'll install new applications and hope that everything works out until you encounter incompatible software. Your only option now is to buy a new server, an unacceptable expense for a single application. Nowadays, virtualization technologies are available to help you. Using virtualization, your server becomes a container that you can fill with different environments, running all of them together. At this stage, maybe you already understand what hardware virtualization means. Hardware virtualization is the technology that enables you to create virtual machines that behave like real computers. A virtual machine, or VM, is the common term used to indicate a software implementation of a machine. How new is the virtualization concept? Not very new at all. The term was coined in the 1960s at IBM Laboratories, where engineers created the first experimental computer system capable of executing multiple virtual machines. Its name was IBM M44, and it was capable of running multiple virtual machines simultaneously. Fast forward to the present, another common mistake is to use virtualization as a synonym for cloud computing. Virtualization is not cloud computing, but cloud computing platforms almost ubiquitously utilize virtualization to provide you with a full suite of features. Think about scalability. Cloud providers would not be able to deliver scalable cloud servers without virtualization software. 